Hello everyone, I'm Monsieur Mokalavar, and thank you for joining me here, of course, in Hearts of Iron 4, using the La Resistance DLC. Now, uh, I think at the end of last episode, or maybe sometime last episode, I said I would rework, you know, the ships, and somehow, we actually have our carrier back. Which, is great! We got our carrier back, they've got, I've got a lot of destroyers. These guys are okay, they're not really that great, to be honest with you. But whatever, go ahead and train them. I'm glad we got the ships back after... The communist French capitulated, so... Yeah, it is what it is. Whatever. Trying to reform the navy. Doesn't really matter. But... Uh, who do we want to help out in this war? We're becoming monarchists. I think I want to help out the Carlists. Maybe. Who likes us? Spain likes us, but... Do I like Spain? Have we had a monarchy down here? That sounds kind of like fun. Not gonna lie. I've already sent as many divisions as you're currently allowed to. Oh, yeah, you're right there. Cool. We got planes doing a job. But let's have a little bit of fun. Now, you know, it could be worse. I would say this. Because we had the Civil War and, and we finished off the Civil War in the last episode. But, I want to think of it as better than what it could have been. Because, if I had a Civil War in like 1939, that would be tremendously bad. So right now, we're going to really focus on getting more guns, because we still have a little bit of resistance in our territories, which really isn't good. But that's why I'm building up some more military factories, so we can build more guns, because I want a massive infantry army with at least a little bit of tankage. A little bit of tanks, perhaps. That'd be kind of nice. So uh, That's a plan. China is on fire right now, because Japan is special. Uh, but I definitely want at least enough infantry to hold the line, because... Yeah, we have five divisions defending against Italy, 12 defending against Germany, and that's not guarding against Belgium at all, so yeah. I want a lot of guys. Um, and I do want to research military police because we are using, what are we using for garrisons? Or, uh, yeah, pretty much garrisons. We're using the Brigade Colonial, which uses six infantry battalions, which is that one right there, which is okay. You know, that's all, that's all right. It's not great. I think I prefer to use this one, actually, just because... What does that mean? 45. 45 hardness? Oh, that's tanks. 500 some. Costs a little bit more, but I think cavalry is actually better at suppressing stuff than the Division Colonial. Because this, this is 18 combat. Holy cow, that's 18 combat width. Did I have another infantry division? Oh, here it is. Here's the one. That they're using six for... Or it's six infantry battalions for nine suppression versus four cavalry battalions with gets that it gets eight. So uh, armored car recon, armored recon company, light armored. Huh. I might do this. You do need some armored cars, in which we're not making any armored cars at the moment. Let's at least get military police because that'll definitely help out. I finally have a reason to use and research military police. Uh, let's see, right now we are getting a little bit more stability because of our constitutional revision. We're developing the colonies, which I really want to develop a lot before we go to colonial industry or even industrial expansion. So we can get to this research slot, because I definitely need that. Definitely, 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 definitely. We have to cipher the stuff from Germany. We're trying to get the cipher from Italy. We've got a lot of research going on, or at least some intel going on around here in this the south-ish western part of Germany. Oh, uh, austria Hungary's here. Great. Welcome aboard. And we have our other spy where? Where are you? Oh, you're rooting out resistance because they were pretty, pretty gung-ho about trying to fight me or rebel against me. So that's why we put resistance down there. Um, actually, let's go to Intel. Actually, to be honest, at the time of this recording, I'm not sure if there's, like, a quick button I could click. I'm sure there is. For me to, like, just get to this tab over here. Oh, wait, there it is. Duh. It's F6. Duh. What am I thinking? Now I know. Hope you know as well now. So that's really good for us to all know. Resistance is going down everywhere, which is really good, especially in Vietnam. Oh, don't trust that place. Uh, Indochina. Whatever. You know, whatever. Uh... Atlantic Islands, North Africa, definitely don't want to lose North Africa, but we're doing okay. we got enough guns that are coming online, we need thousands of guns though, which is okay. What do we want to do? Uh, this stuff is okay. I could get more rubber. Do I need more rubber though? No, we got 28. 
That's good enough for now. Recruit murder, uh, spy, a local agent recruitment. I'm trying to get one from Africa, because that might be good. And we're doing okay. We're honestly doing okay-ish. Keep building military factories, keep building civilian factories. Those will all be very, very important. And I want to try to encircle these guys down here. So, uh, are we getting some more air XP? Yes, we are. Great. Are you getting some more XP yourself? Hopefully you are. You are an old guard. Uh, I don't like that. But the only person that can replace you is Henry, who's also an old guard. Oh, oh France, why must you hurt me so? Uh, let's go over here. 1937 stuff. Not too bad. Uh, radar. I'm, I'm liking radar. I kind of want to get tanks, but we're doing pretty good on tanks. Artillery. I do want to get maybe a little bit of anti-tank. That will probably be really, really useful. But before we do that, planes. Oh, we're doing okay on planes. You know what? I'm going to go for radar. I'm going to not use anti-tank at the moment. But now I will. Just in case. You never know what those pesky Germans are up to. So, You guys are doing well. Can they pierce us? No. Which is awesome. Oh, anarchists. Ah, we have developed the colonies. Develop in these other places. Which, honestly, this takes so long. It takes so long to develop that stuff. I I wish I could like do more stuff over here. You know what? I'm going to do this instead first. Lazar Fair for our economy will become more efficient after a period of about two years, which means we'll be in the middle of a war, or just more civilian construction speed. I'm going to go with this one. The communists openly talk about remodeling the economic structure of our country in some radical way of depriving the hard-working man of his rightful property. Against this, we will set the simple notion of freedom. A dynamic economy will always outperform a leftist nightmare of strangulating red tape. Just so we can get some more bonuses to research when that becomes more relevant. Which probably isn't the greatest thing to do right now. But after this, I could do get more I could get more stability. Economic devaluation. Stimulate the dynamic market. More construction speed. Uh, freedom front, more popularity of fascism, okay. Industrial research speed, production cap, efficiency growth. That stuff is okay. So communist influence foreign policy. Communists consider themselves to be part of the international revolution. Uh, I think I've already read this one last time. Representatives of communist parties maintain close ties to nations which have abandoned our foreign government. I mean, we had a civil war. They should all be dead. Like, that's not cool if they rise up again. <laughs> oh my goodness, that'd be terrible. But, uh, yeah, that doesn't make too much sense. I do want to get down to partial mobilization. We currently get 0.81 political power. Oh my gosh, disjointing. I need to get rid of disjointing government, which is all the way back over here, I believe. Um, Somewhere down here. Ah, here it is. Repeal the law of exile. So once we stop increasing our stability, then we can get rid of disjointed government, and we can actually get some political power. Wow. Amazing, I know. I could do actions, operations, but that's okay. I mean, I don't really need to do any of that stuff for now. Just gather some intel for now. That'd be good. Uh, actually, you're at 100%. What missions do you have available? Uh, I could. We could do stuff here. Infiltrate civilian administration. We got a good chance. Screw it, we'll do it. You'll be a linguist. Commence when ready. That's good. You know, I don't expect too many problems, but you never know. So how's resistance going to be here? It announces claims on Yugoslavian territory. That's fine, whatever. Lebanon. It's still continue going down. You're going interventionist USA. Oh, okay, that could be worse. Probably could be much worse. So this is still going down. That's awesome. I love it. Keep going down. I want no resistance. Indian section. Recruitment in Africa. Well, I can recruit down there in Liberia. Oh, and also, I do want to let you know, I did rename this, because uh, we had, like, Dol Dolce Bureau, which is, like, the forerunner of what was the Intelligence Agency Network for France in real life. But this is... Uh, was, this was founded in 1940. I decided to just move on to the 1940s intelligence agency for France. Just because. Bureau Central de Rensegnements de Action. Close enough. I do not know how to speak French. I took one year of it in high school. Oh, hold on. We want to make sure our tanks are actually okay, so go and stop doing that. Repair. So even if they're just here, they should, also, they should be okay. I mean, they don't have to move too much to defend. They just have to sit in one spot and fire away at somebody. Probably. We get 3 to 55 fuel a day, that's not bad. 
and we are using some planes as well. So, Yugoslavia requests a sale of airplanes. Realizing a strategic weakness, the Yugoslavian Air Force has initiated a crash program to modernize and expand its force. Significant money reserves have been set aside to cover the purchase. A commission is traveling around Europe to look for new sources of fighters and medium bombers. Given the urgency of the issue, the Yugoslavians have insisted on immediate transfer or delivery or transfer of planes directly from the producer. Tactical bombers, which we have enough of, we could send them. Fighter production, which hurts us for our fighter production for 120 days, 180. Well, either one is good. We can't spare anything. I'm going to... Am I making any fighters right now? Um... Yeah. Very nice. Oh, happy 1938, my friends. Happy 1938. Protect the rights of man. I'd like that stability, but it's 70 days, and I want to get through this as fast as possible over here. So, let's invest in somewhere not dangerous. Let's see. This is to every colonial state. So, not doing metropolitan France should be okay. Let's do Algerian France. Europe is facing dangerous times. We should focus on improving our lands to the south and ensure we can support the mainland. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, our guns are doing better. Very good. Artillery is looking pretty good. Good. Just kind of hang out, tanks. You're doing a great job. Let them attack you. Carlism is doing okay. And we have Great Britain. Hello there. You're back, Edward VIII. Royal Ordnance Factories. Well, that Reich is getting Reiky. Oh, so wow, we barely got any stability from that. Um, I don't, I really don't mind. Maybe improving working conditions now. Then that'd probably be a good thing to do. Yeah. Hmm. Keep building stuff up because you get that one. Then we can start building some more uh, military factories there. Not bad. Not bad. Just. Oh God, we need so much. You'll stop there-ish, because I want to keep making some support equipment. That'll be important. But we also want to make some motorized fighters. Oh, and do scout planes. I still want scout planes. Try that out. Uh, another division. I'm going to throw them down towards Italy first, because you're the weakest. There you go. Thank you. Ah, uh, tanks. Good job, my friends. Or guys. Whoever you are. Support the attack. You should be okay. We'll run out of fuel pretty quickly, probably, but that's okay. Ah, radio. Very good, very good. Get more research. You know what? I just noticed there's no encryption or decryption because that's part of the intelligence stuff now, which is actually really nice. That does free up some more technology stuff for us to do, which I kind of really, really like. Canon. 1938 stuff. Support companies. Planes are okay. Ships are probably not that good right now. Industry. I don't have ability to produce any of this stuff right now. That's okay. We didn't need to. Let's go get some improved infantry equipment. Uh, will you still be able to win, maybe? Perhaps? No? Yes? Someday? So how is the intelligence things working right now? I could increase my defense and stuff, but I really need my stuff to... I really need to build myself up. And we'll have infiltrated their civilian administration very, very soon. Alright, so you guys, just kind of hold for now. I need more fuel. I don't want to trade for fuel just because I want that. Oh god, they, they ate up another factory of ours. God dang it. That's okay, let's do that then. Valencia is a capital though. But we're completely out of fuel. Nice. Completed. Close. Thank you. <clears throat> Operations, you shall come back to here. Frankfurt. Depending against attacks, root out resistance. Uh, does resistance going up anywhere? Doesn't look like it. There, it really should be going down, if not, you know, pretty much peaceful. I think we'll be okay. Syria is okay for now. I'm going to go ahead and do some more intelligence in Brandenburg. Both of you are getting more and more intelligence. It's going to take some time, but that's okay. We got 12 divisions guarding against Italians. That's pretty good. Oh, we're still training some guys? No, 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 no. Go home. No wonder we have no fuel. Oh, we have, we have 63 subs. I want to say that's good, but... <clears throat> sometimes... You might have a lot, but it doesn't mean they're actually really good. Anyways. Colonial industry. Two factories for every colonial state previously invested in. We got Algeria. This could give us a lot of factories. So, invest in West Africa. The vast reserves of workers and resources in Western Africa make it a perfect candidate for investments. Perfect. Perfect candidate. Africa will always be with us no matter what, right? Right? Absolutely. Oh, Carlism. You're doing okay, Carlos Spain. You're doing okay. 
Garrisons are looking good. Reinforcements should be high. Upgrades should be like that. You guys should be there. We need lots of guns. Tons of guns. Um, you can repair stuff for now. A little bit more for now. It's fine. Ship stuff. Not really worried about that. Anti-tank guns. Yeah, I'm not going to have an Air Force. I don't have the industry for an Air Force. Oh, we, oh, we no longer get the thing of devalue the franc. It's not bad. Okay, okay. Not bad. A little bit more stability. So that's always nice. Inefficient economy. God dang it. Full employment. Protected by the Maginot Line. Just joining government hurts us so much. Oh, I hate it. How much fuel do we have? 355. Oh, oh, we, consumers' goods went down again. Uh, yeah. There you go. Do that one. Micromanage that just a little bit more. I really don't want to attack with these guys, but we'll see what happens. We have like a few weeks of fuel so we can take out Valencia. Get rid of those guys. Help the Carlos win somewhere else. That'd be good. That'd be very good. Oh, I want to do military police too. But we only have three research slots. Oh, God, three research slots. It hurts me. Uh, can we get anyone that gives us more political power at all? Yes. But that's 150. That's 150. That's not really worth it then. If I have to wait this long to get more political power. Uh, oh, good. Good job, Carlos. Bain. Nice job. Uh, do I want more stability? I do want more stability. This does hurt us for a little bit. Let's do that. Screw it. Good job, uh, Carlos Bain. You definitely need those resources. Converted fighter... Pro oh, goodness. Oh, my goodness. That's not good. Oh, getting attacked by infantry. Whatever. It's fine. Our guys are getting quite a bit more experience, which is good. Uh, Philippe Leclerc. Do you have anything for us? You're offensive type of guy. That's fine with me. Are you attacking or defending? I don't know. Let's help them out anyways. And... Come on. Get us just all that much more army XP by no... nothing. Okay, whatever. Invest in West Africa. Invest in Indochina. The long distance between our holdings in Indochina and our heartland may seem like a drawback, but it also protects any industry from there from enemy attacks. So that'll be good. I want the max number of civilian factories as possible, because then I can trade stuff away for uh, more resources. Good. Actually, you know, just come down here. Take that tile, because if you can take both those... They're pretty much done for. As long as they can guard this tile, because if we if this if we lose this tile, we're kind of sunk. Good, 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 good. Awesome. Helping out the Carlists. I could do that. Let's get military police next. That'd be good. Suppression plus twenty percent. Put those on the horses. That'd be muy bueno. I wonder. Can I just like? Roll right into the rest of their country, maybe? I might. Actually, I probably will be able to. You know what? Just go straight for Madrid. Ah, Cypher for Italy is fully decrypted. Awesome. If we need another Cypher, make it... Austria-Hungary. They even have... They peacefully got Czechoslovakia. Nice. Do Great Britain. I don't trust the Brits. Really do not. Operations. You guys are getting more intel, which is good. Uh, infiltrate the army. How would this... It's, it's a good chance. It's a good chance. I really want to know everything about the German military, probably. I think that's for the best. And we have just light tanked our way into, literally, Madrid. And now we're going to get backstabbed. Or encircled ourselves. Whatever. And they took that back. Oh, we got encircled. Of course. By Soviets, they're attacking us. Tally-ho, my friends. Tally-ho. Get the hell out of there. Mm -hmm. Please, please, please. That was a crazy idea. This definitely extended the front. Oh, boy. I'm going to lose that division, aren't I? I lost that division. God dang it. I helped you as best as I could. Thank you, tanks. Thank you. That was a crazy, stupid idea. Oh, well. It was fun. And that's what I like doing. Having fun doing this. Motorized. Eh, I got enough motorized. I don't mind sending one more over there. Having a good time with our motorized. I guess the three divisions. Oh. Oh, we can wait till two last six. Two more. 
Well, this is better now. There you go. There you go. Surprised they didn't actually capitulate after they lost Madrid. That doesn't make too much sense, because that's a pretty big victory point. I guess it does make some sense, since they still own Seville, Extra Mirda, Maduro, how do you pronounce that? Grand Battle Plan? Oh yeah, we're on Grand Battle Plan. More defense and organization is going to be very, very important. Uh, anything else we can do here? Not really. Ah, the first division is here. Good. Under, well, Hunsinger, I guess. Put you under him. And let's do this again. No tanks this time, which is fine. I don't really plan on using a lot of tanks anyway, so whatever. Alright, and I do know we need more stuff. That's good. Mm -hmm. Oh, we gotta make sure we have motorized though. We're producing some of that. Motorized, where are you? Look at all these subs we're trying to make that are terrible. Go ahead and do that. We could use like two a week, three a week, whatever. Go ahead and come that way. Thank you. You should be able to win pretty easily. And they stopped us from attacking. You know, there's a point to attack if we can't encircle the enemy. Go ahead and repel the defense. Repel the attackers, I mean. Take that tile. Thank you. Invest in Indochina. Invest in Syria. So Syria is perfectly positioned to supply us in case of war in Europe or in Africa. Enhancing its industrial potential will also help support our position in the area. Ah, uh, hope you guys enjoy it. Alright, I'm gonna wait for these guys to get out. And boom. Alright, and then you guys do that. Leave one guy here. Good, good, good. And you're in circle. Good job, guys. Oh, well, they wanna do that. Well, let's hurry and wrap this up a little bit more quickly. Thank you, thank you. 90, 92. Ah, that Soviet division is no more. It's actually a little bit easier when you have three divisions versus one tank division. But that was actually a really good distraction because the Nationals are doing a little bit better now. What did you guys say there? Uh, please get that Carlos division in there. Very nice. Madrid has fallen. These guys are cut off, so that's actually really good. Ah, computer machine. Awesome. Radar. Sure. Very good, my friends. Very good. Take one more. Can you get Toledo? That sounds like fun. Yeah, maybe just stay there for now. Very nice, very nice. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's see. Uh... Hmm. Alright, well, we'll still win with this single division anyways. Probably. Well, yeah, attack anyways. Who cares? Oh, look! Germans! The Hispanic Alliance! Mexico! Alright, Mexico, well, you do you. I'll continue pushing down here if we can. Fourth International, good, good, good. Trucking on down, trucking on down. Hey, look! Encirclements! You guys get down here, and then attack that way. Because there's only a few divisions around here, so that'll be okay. Uh... Yes, very nice. Oh, there goes Spain. India declared war on India. Well, India is having an identity crisis right now. All right, you guys come over here. Thank you. Helping the Carlos win, probably maybe not a great idea, but... Uh, oh, wait. Indian People's Republic. Hello, India. You're fighting India. Expand the Mazagon Dock. Oh. Hmm, interesting. Didn't expect that. Then again, I don't expect some things to happen in game, but this is a historical Bangladesh declared war on. Okay, well, that part of Asia is just on fire, and Sibylla is looking not too bad actually. That's pretty good. You guys are defending, well, or attacking, I guess. Kind of hold for now. We need to concentrate our forces somewhere, but take Madrid, I guess. Trucking on into Madrid, quite literally. Good, 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 good. Let them attack us. Uh, the best place to attack is either north or west. I'm going to go north. Cut these guys off. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Oh, Italians are... Oh, wait! Are we fighting just Italians and Germans here? That seems a little crazy. But I kind of like it. 
Italian boys. Oh, Italian boys. Oh, keep an eye on fuel, too. 22 divisions guarding against uh, those guys down there in Italy. That seems pretty good. Planes. You should probably do this side, honestly. Got a little more air XP. I love it. Oh, oh that was fast. Oh, Bangladesh. Good job. Good job, uh, India. Probably wasn't too difficult, to be honest with you, but whatever. Awesome. Good job, guys. And these guys are all encircled here. Oh, but we're out of fuel. Hmm. Production. Keep producing stuff. I will trade for one fuel now. Thank you. Or one more. Thank you, United States. Hope you uh, keep it up for us. That'd be great. Help strike them there. Take away that victory point so they get no more supplies. And don't attack there. I don't really care where you go. We'll find a way to, you know, get in their lands. Destroy them. Invest in Syria. It is October 12th, 1938. Let's do some colonial industry. So, we'll get eight factories from doing this. We should focus on our industries in the colonies. Should tensions increase in Europe, we will still have an industrial capacity outside the reach of enemy bombers, and then we can get another research slot. Oh, actually... Hold the phone. Hold the phone. Actually, let's do this one first. It's much more important to do this one. So, no head is French royal family, nor their heir, are allowed on French soil without express permission. Before we can have the triumphant return of the monarchy, we must dispose of this annoying a little obstacle, in which we get quite a bit of stuff. Oh, actually, uh... Yeah, we gotta do that first. There we go. That's much more important so we can get rid of disjointed government. I've already read this. Just come on in. Yeah, come on in. You're not gonna be here for very long, so... <clears throat> Yeah, getting rid of this is going to be extremely important. We get stability. We get a t pretty much, almost roughly, one political power, which is great. Carlos victory in the Spanish Civil War. These fanatics continue to live in the Middle Ages. Hey, man, we supported those fanatics. They're okay. They're okay people. Sometimes. Uh, get up to 100. Get up to 100 as well. You're going to be necessary for this upcoming war, which we'll probably be in soon enough. Um, get up to 100. Oh, we can build more stuff. Good. Glorious. More military factories are going to be important. Plop, plop. And then plop, plop. Uh, plop. There you go. Alright, so we're getting a little bit more fuel. I probably don't need that much fuel. I could help the Chinese, but... They're looking okay. Military police, finally. Awesome. 1938. It's going to be 1939 soon. Let's get that first real quick. Ah, uh, the soldiers have returned. Well, some soldiers have returned home victorious. That's good. Oh, there's only one division there. That's not good. You guys. Go under De Gaulle. That's okay. That tank division is going to be okay ish. We need some. Oh, we need a lot of fighters. Tanks are doing okay. Oh, we have 32 guys here. That's. Mm, 32 is probably. Probably a little overkill. Let's send you guys here. There you go. 32 might be good enough. Maybe not. Go to Rames. Rames, Rhymes. Oh, completed. Nice. Operations. Cryptology. Keep doing that. Um, Hessian? Oh, no. You. I want you. Oh, Austria? Yeah, it might be important to do Austria there. Go back to Brandenburg. Tons of intel. That'll be good. Yeah, we're going to need a lot more intel for that. That's okay. Any other decisions we can take? Greater Portugal declare war in Portugal. Hmm. Okay. Repeal the lull of exile. Carlos Spain? Oh, how are you guys doing? You know? Hey, look at this guy. How are you doing? They're probably going to get crushed by this guy, Preto, who... I have no idea who you are. Um, I much prefer you because you're a kingdom, but I can't send you volunteers because world tension isn't high enough. Which doesn't make any sense. It's, no, it's November 1938. Oh, that's why... That's because Germany didn't annex Austria or Czechoslovakia. Oh. What are, what are these guys doing, anyways? Blood Agreement. Align Hungary, Secret Rearmament, Habsburgs Restored, Radar Treaty... Oh, they still have Treaty of Trianon. Interesting. 
Uh, go ahead and just get more construction. We're going to need that. Definitely going to need that. Alright, so build up tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of guns. Toad anti-tank. How do I use... Scout planes? Ah, here it is. Perform aerial scouting and intel gathering. Yeah, we can probably do that for now. Does that help our intel gain by a lot, or... Ah, from local nationality. Oh, well, that that obviously helps them quite a bit, but... Repeal the Law of Exile. Thank the Lord. Now, we can go with Bonapartist, but with the guy on the thumbnail, well, probably not. Doing this immediately doesn't really matter. Guarantee the Constitution. Ooh, weekly... Oh, God, weekly stability. That's really good, but we already have 77%. We need more war support, actually. Counteraction. Uh, this stuff is okay. Topple government against the Reich or Italy. We can create our own faction. That sounds really cool. But let's do this. Colonial industry, which I've already read, so we're just going to go ahead and go with that. It's almost 1939. Italian diplomatic isolation. Taking a turn for the worst recently with a string of minor diplomatic incidents being seized upon by the German government to fuel hostile rhetoric. Though Italo-German relations have begun to improve in recent years, these new developments seem to effectively preclude any future cooperation between the two European powers. Critics point out the concurrent improvements in Anglo-German relations, as well as the convenience this Italian diplomatic isolation provides to the British, which may indicate backroom deals between the two nations. Oh no. Oh, they're befriending Bulgaria. That's kind of good for them. Yugoslavia, small arms. Did they go with kick Italy out or something? Or It might have been the British thing. Um, befriend Denmark. War with France. Yeah, alliance with Italy. What did you... You're... Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. I might... Half of Democratic supporters apply to stability penalty. Take out the region. Ooh. If I have to fight the Germans and the British at the same time, that's... Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Let's go ahead and... Oh, I can't even go down here. Are you kidding me? I want more fuel, but I need more war support. That's why. Um, I can't even do war propaganda. God dang it. Ugh. Um, no, farm. Mm. Cavalry looks pretty good. Army logistics. Which forces? Ground, ground support. That's not bad. Capital ships. Screen attacks, defense, offense, defense. I don't want to spend 150 political power for this. Is there any way I can get more war support soon? That doesn't do anything for us. That's more stability, which is nice. You don't get any war support from here. I mean, we have to get attacked to get more war support. God dang it. 5% uh, isn't much better, but you get 20% bonus to construction speed. I don't want to do this, but I have to. I hate that. I hate that so much. But yeah, we get a few more factories, but it's not that much. Oi. Go ahead and do that. That'd be better. Oh, uh, that's disgusting. That's terrible. That's absolutely terrible. Actually, do you have a field marshal? You should probably get the field marshal here. Ah, uh, he's actually okay. Let's go ahead and grab him right there. That'll be okay. 1.3 political power a day. Finally, 1.3. Finally. Uh, refuge, anti-German raids, or anti-fascist raids. <laughs> anti-German raids. Oh. Colonial industry, not bad. We are definitely not ready for any sort of war. Like, for the love of God, we are definitely not ready for any sort of war. But maybe against the Italians will be okay. Now, did they go with Pact of Steel or Italy first? So, they have been abandoned, so they can go Pact of Steel. They're going to go with Italy first then. So, they'll eat up Albania, which will be fine. But, uh, alright, so Italy will be in its own faction. Happy 1939, everyone. Germany is trying to get... Potentially, will be in an alliance with the British, which is something I did not expect whatsoever. And they still have British Malaya, so that's not too bad. And we're out of manpower. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. We're out of manpower. Um, yeah, I could definitely use some more manpower. That's going to be a little bit of an issue. Ooh, Construction 3, very nice. Get some more output. That'll be good. That'll be really, really good. Alright, we're doing really well on a lot of stuff, actually, which is not bad. Better than what I kind of thought of. Mexico was annexed, and I'll end the episode very, very soon. You guys come over here. Need a new general, Hunsinger, I guess, for now. Um, you're not great. 
I really don't trust anyone now. I really don't. Even, even though we help these guys, they still don't like us that much. I prefer monarchies, but you know, man. Oh, get that. That's definitely important. Throw you guys over there. I don't think the Swiss are going to attack me, so we can still be pretty, pretty peaceful with the Swiss. I think they'll be okay. Oh, but hey, let's at least get some more factories first before we end the episode, right? Come on, and... There we go, Colonial Industry. Eight factories. Oh, no, one, two, three, four, five, ten factories. Great. And let's grab another research slot. So, promising young minds are popping up everywhere. We need to supply them with facilities to conduct their research. Advances in technology can give us the edge where we most need it. So, that'll conclude today's episode, my friends. We are actually preparing ourselves fairly decently. We help the monarchs in Spain win. Uh, I forgot to help Portuguese, whatever. Italy has been scooted off the boot, you know, the Germans don't like them anymore because the British are Keneving monarchists. The Germans are not as strong as they should be, which is good for us. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. It's becoming very interesting. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you all tomorrow when we might end up in a small continental war. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.